WMNF 88.5. It is I, DJ Spaceship, right here on the MIC, behind the controls, whatever you want to call it. It's me. We're having a great day on purpose. That was St. Rene, gonna go higher. Now, one thing that needs to go lower is this rain, because it's, it's continuing to do what it's doing while it's doing what it's doing. But um, I have some family in the house. I got my brother Sam Hughes, and I got my brother Pusher, Billboard yeah. Premium in the building. And they just vibing out and uh I got them here because I want to talk to them, mix a little mix with them as we uh, ride out these last 20 something minutes of the show, you know. Preem, you here with me? Yes, sir. Walk on. And I can't leave. I'm a brother Sam. What's happening? Not too much, man. Sure. Listen, man, I'm a, I'm appreciating. I appreciate that you guys are here with me, man. And uh, we got my brother Nexus Minotti in the building in the background. But um, you guys are, in my humble opinion, and a lot of others, royalty in the music scene here in the Bay Area. And I just want to first thank you guys, applaud you guys for all your work that you've done and everything that is to come. However, enough about that. Let's talk about what's going on. Now, Preem, what's happening? You had something go down recently at uh, Hooch and Hive. You had an event go down there not long ago, and I wanted you to talk a little bit about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, the Hooch and Hive event that we had, we're kind of just like celebrating the, the trip that we went to New York, and we did the distribution with Rock Nation. And then uh, right after, we wind up going back to New York, performing at the Apollo, and we just did the Juneteenth event at the Raymond James Stadium. So, you know, God's been on our side tremendously. A big shout out to Regal Productions. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's just been, been the, you know, the flag has been opening. So, you know, with, with that being said, it, it was only right that, you know, I hit my man Sam, we had this record that we've been, you know, sitting on for a minute. And you know what they say, you know, divine time. And so, right, right. And everyone knows, you know, when Sam gets in this bag, it gets crazy. So mm. oh, yeah. I just mm. think that, the, you know, with everything that we're going on, there's going to be more events, more things, um, you know, just c coming away. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now, because I'm going to put a pause right there. I'm going to drop some music. And we're going to talk, come back and talk a little bit, because I got to hear about Sam, man. I mean, this is, like you said, divine intervention putting things together. You see mm -hmm. how that thing happened like that? Mm -hmm. But this is WMNF 88.5 DJ Spaceship. We'll be right back and let uh, let you think about it. Lynn, tell them a little something about that. WMNF 88.5. Lynn Collins, think about it. And I got something I need you guys to think about. I, I told you, I got Sam. I got Pusha Billboard Cream. Uh -huh. Now, I want to ask y'all brothers, how did that song come up? But first of all, what is the name of the song and how did it come about? Cream? Called like whoa, I'm gonna have Sam tell the story. Okay, Sam, so, what you got I, I, I remember, I'm, my, my memory's kind of fuzzy on that. Uh, I don't remember how it happened. We kept talking about doing a record, and then he just. I the think it was, it was right after you did that that big show. Um, at that, 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 that theater. Yeah, yeah, it was like yeah, it was like right after the theater. It was like within like a month of the the theater show. Um, and we just pulled up to the pulled up to Grand Bay. It was just kind of on the whim. We had been talking about doing a record for a minute, and it just happened. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, real organic, real organic. Yeah. It, it happens that way because Sam's style, you know, your style is just very unique. Uh, not like everybody else, very eclectic when it comes to your selection of production and stuff like that. Um, who was responsible for the production on this one? Was it a collaborative, or was it, you know, you come from Brain Camp, come from your camp? Pretty much had it. Yeah, um, I had it for, for, for a little while now because, you know, at the time we were so heavy and dialed in and Afro beats, like all of the, the rap records that I had, I would just do them and like, put them to the side. Because, um, like, you know, the people that was uh, backing me at the time, it was just like, I'd just be kind of cool if you like, don't use these right now. So um, it was just that summer where, um, man, what was it? It was like the summer where I was like around Sam a lot more, I was around Chris Streets and all of them a lot more, and I'm just like, well, I didn't want people to feel like that wasn't my bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't come from hip hop. It's just fortunate that, you know, I'm just doing kind of like what's more, you know, what, what my vocal range just sounds like and stuff like that. What's like the Adam and Eve, Better Than Yourself, some of the other Afro records. But, you know, don't get it twisted. Like, that's like, that's like what I, what I hone in on. So, you know, uh, when I heard it, uh, it just has so much space in it for, you know, someone who cares about the craft, someone who just is lyrical, someone that has like outstanding delivery. And Sam was the first person I thought of. You know, and then, you know, at that, um, even till now, you know, people know Sam for doing that, you know what I'm saying? Not like taking the backseat on production and beats of that nature. No doubt, no doubt. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a trip to New Orleans right quick because I'm not done with y'all. We have a few more minutes to go, but I'm going to take a trip to New Orleans and uh, we're going to take care of a couple of things and we're going to come back and y'all going to stick around and talk a little bit more if that oh, all right? Yeah, yes, sir. All right, man. This is WMNF 88.5. I am DJ Spaceship. We're going to go out to New Orleans right quick because I'm in my feelings. 
but not really. I'm not, you know, drizzy or anything like that. But uh, this is WMF. <laughs> <Eight point five. laughs> <Hey, minor. laughs> nah, I ain't drizzy, but you know. WMNF 88.5 Electric Light Orchestra Showdown And it is a showdown in here right now Like I said, I got my brother Sam I got my brother Pusha Billboard Preen <laughs> And we in the building, man So Preen, tell me a little bit more about what you got going on in the city Before we get out of here Because uh, I know we well, yeah, got no doubt. So we got uh, Rico here as well, too um, He manages us as well And, um, you know, for, for those that's hearing this You know, the, um, we definitely will love y'all support On the record, it drops next Friday It's just basically unification between the, you know, the Twin Towers of Tampa, in my personal opinion, with me and Sam. And I think it's a record that, you know, it kind of speaks to everybody, gets them more excited, some, some really great gym music that, you know, and we're talking our, we're talking our stuff on there. And then, you know, Rico, what, what you have to add to it? No, no, the first time I heard that record, I fell in love with that record. Okay. And I told Preem, you know what, I want that record. He said, uh, I said, Preem, I'll put anything behind it. I want that record. Well, come Friday, that record that everybody gonna have yeah. is gonna be all over. But you have you as a first in line, so you already got that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put you to the side. Sam, what you got for it, brother? Man, uh, I'm hyped about the record coming out. It's one of my favorite verses in a while. You know, uh, the sport of rap. I feel like I did my thing. All right, well, and, and how do people stay in touch with you guys if you can drop your social medias for the listeners out there so they can continue to support? No doubt, uh, P-U-S-H-A-P-R-E-M-E, Push your Primo on everything, Google it, something's going to pop up, that's going to be dope. And I'm uh, Sam Hughes, S-A-M-E-H-U-E-S, on all platforms, and that's my website as well. All right, well, we're about to be up out here, like I said, it is WMNF, and you can follow me on Instagram, at DJ Spaceship, I'll say it slow for you, at DJ Spaceship. On Instagram and even Facebook, and reach out and say, "Hey, what's happening?" Until then, me and Nate Diggity Dog will be here, same place, same time next week, not tomorrow. We's out of here. Let's go.